Always low, low prices at Pahrump Valley Auto Plaza. On Sunday, July 7th, Harold Braunberger, a 94-year-old Army vet, met his daughter for the first time. Harold had a girlfriend in grade school by the name of Joan Farrell, who he had relations with one night back in 1947. Afterward, Harold went into the Army in August of 1947 at the age of 17. Harold spent three years stationed in Korea, but was discharged two days before the Korean War officially started. Be known to Harold, his daughter Teresa was born in October, two months after Harold had joined the army. Teresa was adopted by the Clark family and grew up not knowing who her biological father was. Now, almost 77 years old, Teresa Clark talks with News 25 about how they were reunited. I actually was born in Manhattan in 1947. I always grew up hearing I was the product of teenage people and so I was adopted by the Clarks hence I've had that name my whole life even when I married I didn't change my name and uh, my husband has since died I moved back to Colorado where I had raised my son and then went to Florida to catch up with friends fell in love got married 20 years later when he died I went back to Colorado and people were asking me my entire life, why don't you try to find your birth parents? And I'm a procrastinator. And finally, in 20, 2016, I sent my DNA into Ancestry. And the first relative that came up was that handsome man in the kitchen. We started communicating via text and phone calls. And then his mom, this lovely lady, sent in her DNA and come to find out she the numbers looked like she was possibly an aunt or whatever and about that time she found my daddy her brother and when I was talking to John Paul he kept telling me don't give up he said my mom just found her half brother who's building a house in Pahrump, Nevada and he was 89 at the time and Lo and behold, a year and a half later, I found out that half-brother was my daddy. And the beginning of 2020, before COVID became a household name and we couldn't, a household word and we couldn't travel, my son and I, the only child I ever had, he and I came out and we met the Brumbergers. And everybody opened their hearts and their homes to me like they'd known me their whole life and daddy was wonderful and ended up he didn't know anything about me he was in the military and I was born in Manhattan and it's nothing short of a it's nothing short of a God thing that I got to meet my birth father because my adopted father had since died quite before and life has been good, and I was blessed because I was only two states away in Colorado. He was in Nevada, and Linda I started talking to when she was in Charlotte, North Carolina. Then she moved to Stillwater, Oklahoma, and it's we're all in the western part of the country, and it's been nothing short of a blessing.